the fuck? Oh, I'm in a different universe. Hey guys, so this is gonna be a challenge video and it's gonna be about my difficulties trying to regulate my mind and trying to find against one of my basic instincts, which is uh, breathing. Around like eight years ago, I was, I was a swimmer and I, I still remember when with my bodies, we tried to swim as long as we can underwater. And I think the most uh, I did personally was 50 meter or somewhere around 50 meter. Now, over here in this hotel, there is a, there is a pool that's uh, 70 meter long. So from that side of the pool, uh, all the way to the other side at 70 meter. And uh, I already I already tried swimming underwater as long as I can over here. And I did, uh, first I did around like 60 something. And then essentially I got to, got to 70 meter after practicing a lot. And um, I've been also able to turn back and swim another five meters, 75. But that was really a crazy internal struggle. I could barely keep it together. But this morning I told to myself that I want to attempt uh, 80 meter. And even saying it uh, scares me because it's really not a, a pleasant feeling. It's, it's really a, a, a painful feeling as you're trying to hold your breath. So just watched a couple of YouTube videos. I did some uh, Kundalini yoga. I really feel peace. I really feel calm, relaxed. Just gonna ask my mother to record this. And it's gonna be a attempt uh, to really regulate my mind and take over the control. So yeah, wish me luck. Um, the tips for anyone who wants to try it, don't try it alone. So like get someone who can watch for you because you can pass out if you push really hard. If you are the type of person who really like to push hard, uh, it can happen. And then there is this thing called uh, shallow water blackout, um, where you can, shallow water drowning when you literally can drown in like a small pool uh, and die. So yeah, don't, don't try it alone or don't try it without any you know, previous experience and take it easy, you know, one step at a time. And um, I'm just gonna do some breath work before, like really turn inward, uh, calm my senses down. And then I try to swim as, you know, as slow as I can, fighting against my urge. I'm gonna feel contractions in my chest after, pretty much after I pass uh, that bridge. I know whenever I pass that bridge, I, or, or the dark, dark shade of the bridge, I already feel like, oh, it's getting, it's getting difficult. And then over there, after the second palm tree, it's getting really hard at the last side. And then if I can keep that together, there is there's like a really bad part over there. But if I can keep it together, then I, I kind of gonna make it to the wall. And um, that's the most difficult when, when I'm at the wall to turn back, because when I'm at the wall, I really want to feel like I'm accomplished something, touch the wall, come up. Right. And so that's why I need to you know, stay really relaxed, really calm, turn back and see how far I can go. So. Yeah, I'm really not looking forward because <laughs> it's again like it's really not a not a great sensation. Uh, but I'm just gonna do it. I know I can. So what I have over here is I have a, a glasses, um, a pair of what is it? Google's? I don't know how is it called. Uh, a sell like crazy book which I'm not gonna use right now <laughs> from their Subrisubi and this bowl. I'm just gonna put this in the pool so I know where I am. Uh, wish me luck. Seems like my cameraman is meditating over here. All right, guys, so mommy is going to be the cameraman and you're going to do this attempt. I'm actually super excited and a little bit frustrated, but I need to get the frustration out of my body because it. I need to go into this with absolute certainty, visualizing it and pretty much that's it. So, yep, let's do this. Uh, I actually I actually watched the guy who did 150 meter. He's a professional diver, so I think I should be no problem for me to do 80, 85, maybe we'll see. Okay, wish you luck. Excited. From a very young age, I've been on a journey to find a deeper sense of body and mind control. And the reason I got into breath hold and essentially to dynamic swimming breath hold was that I've realized throughout the years that breathing is one of our most important basic instincts, right? And so to withstand the urge to breathe, you need to have a really deep sense of connection with your body, with your mind, and you definitely need a lot of discipline and willpower. Um, and the reason I love this dynamic swimming breath hold is that if you are not relaxed, if you're not calm, if you're not in your elements, if you're not in the water fully present in every single second, if you let your mind wander, if you start doing uh, you know, start worry or you start thinking about am I swimming fast enough and I'm, am I swimming maybe slow? Do I need to do more, you know, tempo? Uh, can I hold my breath? Where am I? If I'm not in the present moment, 
if you wander, then that would affect your breath hold, period, right? So um, as you're watching me, I'm sitting over here, I'm trying to be as relaxed as possible. I do a full body scan, I'm just looking at the bottom of the pool and thinking about my legs, my calves, all my muscles, every single tiny piece of muscle in my body and I try to observe them and relax them. And at the same time, I'm making sure that my mind is fully present. I'm not, not worrying about the goal. I'm not worrying about where I am. I'm not worrying about, worrying about anything, right? So that's one of the biggest reasons. Now, I also want to mention the very fascinating biological changes your body goes through when you swim underwater and hold your breath. It's something called the mammalian diving reflex and without going uh, super scientific over here I just want to like quickly explain so basically what happens is that as you enter the water as you go under water your receptors on your skin especially on your facial area would recognize that you're under water and so it basically immediately triggers a psychological response to the immersion that overrides your basic homeostatic reflexes like your heart rate drops immediately entering the water as well as your oxygen, your body drives the oxygen from your uh, limbs towards your vital organs like your brain and your heart. Obviously to protect them from oxygen deprivation. I'm in a different universe. What the fuck? It's like 90 meters. Give me the camera. At when I was here at 70 something. I felt like giving up, like I was, I was like, I'm not even gonna make it to the wall. And then I was like, ah, fuck it, let's just keep going. And after that feeling, I really wanted to come up for an hour. Then I started to feel like, um, like okay again. Like I, like I had some new sense of, uh, yeah, a new sensation that I still can keep going. And then at the wall, I was so relaxed, so calm. I'm like, okay, I pushed into like a different universe. And then I turned back and I couldn't see the ball, but I was like, yeah, I don't know where the ball is. I'm just gonna keep going. And I came this far, it's insane. Like that's, it's at least 90 meter. That's insane. I feel it in my, I feel it in my brain, it's just, yeah. Wow, I'm, I'm really happy, it's good, yeah, that's cool. So I just uh, tried measuring the distance and it ended up being close to like 100 meter, which is insane, I went to 85, so seems like I got very close to 100 meter diving. Um, so yeah, next, next goal is really just like measuring out that 100 meter and making sure I'm hitting that. And I'm just gonna go have a breakfast and uh, keep on going with my day but I feel like this is probably the most difficult thing I did today and and so yeah it's, it's a really great challenge for every single morning just like the uh it's even like puts the things like cold water on the other level because when you do something like this it's re it really puts a lot of strain in your body and mind and it's it's really easier to accomplish anything else later down the line so yeah so if you enjoyed this video make sure you hit the subscribe uh, drop a like and uh, stay tuned if you want to see more of these videos me trying to push my boundaries and see what is capable with the human body